Hello friends, my name is Luke the Gamer Duke, and today in Last Epoch, I'm releasing my full session first impressions intro to the mage, who reached level 8 and to where Belfast was stolen. I'll be noting various aspects of gameplay, design, gear, and so forth along the way. Enjoy. Let's, uh, let's boot it up. Sure taking a while. Alright, here we go. I almost get torchlight vibes. Immediately out of the gate here. Especially this little art style. And the entrance to the cave there, that's got some torchlight vibes to it. A display name. I thought I did offline. That's who I am. Okay, let's try that again. Why do you need my email address? Ugh, fine. Okay. All right, so like I said, we'll play offline for now. All right, so we got... Who's this? A sentinel. Strong in honor and fierce... Strong in honor and fearsome in combat, the sentinel stands stalwart against what is unjust even at the end of the world. So this is uh, probably your paladin type character. And then they get, uh, I guess they upgrade into something. We got ourselves the rogue. Pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. Similar to these, like a assassin Amazon type mix. I'll be lacking armor, but great speed and great damage. We got ourselves a mage. Obviously. Okay. The... Is this the Primalist? This is, what, a druid? It's like a druid of some kind. Okay, yeah, Beastmaster, Shaman. There he is, druid. Okay. And the Acolyte. Oh, this is, okay. Necromancer, Warlock type type character. Okay. Decisions, decisions. I mean, whatever character I go with, I'm going to want to change anyway, so... Alright, well, let's, uh... We'll go with the mage. We'll go with the mage, just to see what some explodey stuff looks like. Luaruk. Luaruk. That's a mage name, right? Uh, oh! Hardcore. That's cool. So, offline hardcore. Okay. That's nice. That is nice. I will give some credit for that already. It's one of the worst things about any single-player ARPG, and let's be honest, most every ARPG is designed to be single-player. 
is online hardcore mode. I don't know any anyone that does that. You are asking to, to get killed. You are asking for a lag death every single time you do that. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror, myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. Very stylized. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majossa of the desert. Largon of the sea. Rye of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Lekera away. It's like the game map, Without or at least her, part of it. There was conflict. Four then factions. Wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rye's gaze were the keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected. A traveler, willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? So the art is very good. Fate? Very, very good. Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. Everything's very, uh, pretty vibrant. Enjoy the hand-painted artistry there. Likely not hand painted, you know, probably in Photoshop, but you get the point. Okay, here we are. It's something I want to just. Joystick. Oh, this is for controller. These roads hey. are not kind to my bones. I must hurry. Wellrin is still a few days away. I want to check out real quick. I want to look at a few settings before we really get going here. Gameplay, move to melee, display damage numbers. I'll probably turn that off. I think, I think honestly, just the numbers flying everywhere completely takes me out of the game. It is one of the most hindering things you can to engross yourself into a game is you just see casino numbers everywhere. Health bars that might go on. Maybe not. Probably not. And map zoom. Map opacity. Loot filters. Okay. That mean to get out of settings. So we got loop filters, which is cool. Indicators, length of item names. That's how long an item stays visible for while it's on the ground. Full camera smoothing. Screen shake. Screen shake. Enemies flash on hit. I uh, might turn that off. Oh, RG. That's interesting. So if you have an RGB keyboard, it lights red when you're about to die. Huh. I don't have one, but that's cool. No, stop moving forward, please. Graphics. This is what I want to check. Okay. That needs to go to Ultra. Full screen. Monitor. Resolution. Brightness. It's pretty bright already. So I'm probably going to leave that the way it is. Desync off. Limit frames per second. I don't want to limit the FPS, so we'll just blast that to 120. Minimum. Limit background FPS. I don't think I need to worry about that, so we'll just throw that to 65. Shadow quality ultra. Hmm. 
Grass density, anti-aliasing, reflections, everything's on ultra. Apply! Yeah, things look a little bit better. Looks kind of cool. Might need to turn scroll off though. My mouse wheel likes to kind of uh, do its own thing sometimes. So what do we got? Uh, okay, so I like that. The uh, graphical kind of makes everything look a little, a little nicer. Oh. Oh shit. I assumed that right click was attack. So this is right click and that stays... Okay, I can attack or... Wait. Move or break... Huh, you move objects. So that's... Oh, that's either or. Okay. Okay, so we'll just keep left click as attack for now until I get some more. Ah, oh, it's those things. Catapults throwing little death things up here. Little fire fireballs. It'll take a few minutes to get used to not using right click. Or left click for auto attack. A shield. Okay, I like how it appears down there. So I just picked up a shield. I'm assuming the eye is inventory. That's correct. Okay. This is where... I'm assuming boosts would go, or buffs. Okay, everything looks very nice. If not, maybe a little cartoonish, but I imagine that's also just part of the stylization of the game, so I'm not going to... I'll hold off on any criticism of that at the moment. For blessings. Skills, I suppose. Okay. Alright, so what's this? Oh, we got a dead guy. In the hands of a fallen messenger, you find the letter from Keeper's Council. It is addressed to you. That's convenient. Our Heoborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. Raya's war has reached our lands, and we are in need of aid. As keepers, we avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We Who was Atera again? I remember the name from the opening cinematic, but I don't remember what a Terra is. Some of the problem with introducing names and, you know, positions and characters without, you know, any context. Armored Phoenix. Oh, we did some damage. Ooh. Stop chasing me, man. Okay, so I got some distance on that. Gladius. A pair of Gladiuses. I probably don't need Gladiuses as a mage. Whoa. I only hit one at a time? Uh-oh. Alright, let's see how let's see how let's see how it goes. Stand and fight. Man, your health jumps back up. So you got potions one and two for potions. I suppose you can swap those out. But that shows you... Uh-oh. Oh no, not this guy. Uh-oh. Not him again. He did some damage. Fire! Yo. Alright, level two. Unlocked fireball. Well, it's just automatic, huh? You've gained a new skill. Skills are automatically added to your action bar while you have a free slot. Okay. Very nice looking. Oh. Oh, I should have... Yeah, 
Got him. I just automatically throw fireballs at the first thing I see. <laughs> For big characters that are at their back turn, maybe scout the area first. Oh no, what did I do? I did not want to do that. Go away. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm using my Diablo controls. I might, well, I'm probably going to change those. Okay, so A... It's nothing really. What does S do? S is skills. Okay, so... Hmm. You just automatically unlock skills, huh? Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. I, better, I suppose. I could feel better about that. We'll see. We'll see. Only 20 minutes in. So those guys are fire resist- or look like they're fire... uh, something or other. The Burning Forest. Bodies were burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing. Fleeing from what? That's the question. Fleeing from what? Wait, is he attacking them? What's happening? Those aren't my friends. Alright, y'all can just duke it out, I guess. Um, sure. I guess I'll just run around them. Oh, well, what? And now they're all attacking me? I don't understand. Why is the armored phoenix? The enemies attack each other, I guess. Or maybe the phoenixes are what's burning everything, and, and they include burning the monsters. Hey, a friend! Leveled again and got an automatic skill. Health potion. I don't need it. Okay, so you won't pick it up if you don't need it. Who are you, sir? Was there a family? It was my mistake. I'm sure it was. Cornered, and there were so many. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back. To let me handle it. And they left. What good are we if we can't... Save them? everyone. You're soldiers, man. What do you expect? I just met you, and it's been a long road. Are you also here for the peace talks? No. I Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction... Why don't we go together? I wonder... Sure. Which of us will take down more Ospricks? Come! Let me watch you fight. Is it really fighting if I'm throwing magic? Fight through the burning forest. Well, yeah, it's it's. It, wasn't everything on fire before I found him? He should have already been knowing that there's smoke. Oh, I got a new skill. What does this do? Let's find out. Ah, that's cool. Nope, I go trying to smack him with. Nope, let's not. He was saying no the whole time. Probably never seen a mage run up on somebody and then start attacking them with their skills, huh?
freeze him. I like that. That's a pretty cool skill right there. Level four. A specialization slot. Wait. Cast a Nova around you that deals fire and cold damage. That's probably what you see. So much destruction. And for what? Probably the. I bet that's the shield that you saw in the uh, trailer. So let's try it. Nope. Wrong. Okay. Adept robes. Let's check that out. I like the inventory space and I. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for having items take up different amounts of space. I despise every item taken up like two spots. Or just everything's a three spot item. That drives me insane. Hopefully everything's not a six spot item. That would be awkward. Alright, so we got control to pair items. And left to equip. Shift to drop. So definitely better armor. And increase elemental damage. So we'll swap that out. How are we looking? I can't see. Yeah, looking the same. Like a bitch. Alright, so this just that's just like mass elemental everything, huh? Like, that's all I'm gonna use now. I'm like, why, why would I use any of the others at this point? scroll? I guess you can't. Just zoom out. Can you map scroll? Scroll through the map? There's gotta be a way to scroll through the map. Well, I guess I need to explore everywhere on my first little walkthrough. Okay, that positions the map. I should spend a little time and find out what all the uh, key bindings are, but I'll do that later. Nope. Okay. No, oh, jeez. That was... Using the middle buttons on the keyboard. That's what I use for Diablo. Does it really need the percent? Oh shit. I'll throw a mana potion on there. Away from that. Well done. We're almost there. Traveling coat of deflection, vital traveling coat of life. So it just gave me vitality and health. Physical and lightning resistance, or I'm keeping my increased elemental damage. We'll keep the increased elemental damage. So that did nothing for me, but I'll take some gloves, I guess. And a ring? What's the ring do? Movement speed. Okay. So the perks are already helpful. Movement speed's always good. Elemental damage is good. I saw vitality there, so. It seems like at least that everything is quite direct. There's no strange roundabout perks or uh, fixes. At least in the first, you know, 30 minutes. soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably, they're near shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last. Save for meager signs of the Keeper's presence. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Raya wills it. Alright. So... Am I a Keeper? I'm still not exactly sure of the overarching story. Quest completed. All right, 
Alright, um... Let me find out what all my keys do. So what does S do? S brings up my skills. What is this? Uh, section 1, section 2, I guess? All the skills, mana strikes, okay, so I don't care about that. What? Hold on. What? So you all this is all this is for one skill? No. What? Oh my god. All this is for one skill? That's crazy. What? Why? Why can you do, why can you do this? What is the point of that? Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm probably just going to use Elemental Nova, right? Because why wouldn't I? It's the best one. Enables Ice Nova. So does that swap out Elemental Nova for Ice Nova? Applies to all type of Elemental Nova. Lightning Nova. Elemental Nova deals more damage and has a slightly larger range of effect. I like that. Alright. I guess I can't select it. So what's that one doing? Does it mean... Hmm. What? No, that, 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 that. Um, I didn't... What if I didn't want to do that? Can I take it back? I can't... I can't take it back? Okay. So I guess I could have done lightning or fire for that one. What the hell did I even do? Lightning Blast deals more damage, but this damage boasts license each time Chain Lightning burns. Less damage per chain. So I sacrifice Chain Lightning damage for direct damage. I didn't even know it did Chain Lightning damage. Does it say it does Chain Lightning damage? It just hurls a bolt of lightning. Alright, this is Lightning Blast. Lightning Blast deals more damage, but this damage bonus is lessened each time Lightning Blast chains. Okay, I guess it chains by default. Right, or is that a skill you have to do? I don't know. That's a lot. Oh, the food's gone. Oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. Run through the people. Run through whatever this is, too. Okay. Here, Ots offered protection. More than protection. An alliance. But the truth is, we know little about him. Or his people. Prospect One. He's one of the gods. Atera made him just as she made us keepers, and gave him a role by her side. He's the guardian of his people, and he does his job well. Prospect 2. He cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. Who are we talking about? Prospect 3. His people are worried. Thus, I propose we accept this alliance. It is not in our nature. But we keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Wait. Without Hero's help. So I, I'm, I'm I'm offline and I'm still online. Huh. Okay. Does that go away on its own? Nah, no, I guess it goes away on its own. There's Gale. Grail. The keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. A group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. They've been indebted to her. But why, we do not know.
Even their name is... Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god or just her? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Whatever secrets the Keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. Now, so what's next? Speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking okay. of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. I don't want to look around. I don't want to look around. I don't know or care about any of these people. Oh, that, well, that's unfortunate. I don't get any shards or decent items in offline mode. Well, I guess I won't be playing offline mode too long. What the hell is this? A waypoint. Okay, so we're at Keeper's Town. Keeper's Camp. Came from the Burning Forest. Right? Waypoint locked. Everything's... What is... I'm getting Pokemon vibes from this. Every area has a level. Huh. Okay, so we're in the Divine Era. Negative 12 BE. And this is end of time? That doesn't seem good. Huh. Okay, so that's interesting. So, we're in Divine Era. Ancient Era was back then. Imperial Era is a thousand years from now. Then after the Imperial Era comes the Ruined Era. And then, end of time is destruction. Okay, that's interesting. I'm assuming you jump between all of this. I know time travel is part of the theme here. Alright, let's see what the brain is. What is the brain? Hello, brain. Oh, it's respec. Respecialized mastery points. I don't know what a mastery point is. Stash! Purchase for a thousand gold. Oh, okay, so that... Okay, at least you can purchase them and... The goal's not that much. I feel like I acquire a thousand gold pretty quick. Okay, and then you can, what, name your different stashes? Okay, okay. Boy, I wish, I wish that would be, uh... That would be great if there was, that was in another popular game. Game series. Be able to just purchase more stash tabs with in-game currency. Or just give you stash tabs. I mean, then they got, you know tab buttons here, so I'm assuming you can make quite a lot. It looks like maybe five here, at least ten, twenty, thirty, who knows. A lot more than another game will give you. And we got the armor. I'll uh, go and get rid of this. Sell that for, what was that, like one gold? Um, uh, Stabs. Purchase price 21? Huh, what's this? This is a brass scepter. That's so that's one-handed. I'm losing my shield, I suppose, won't I, if I get one of these stabs. It's two-handed. Melee damage, plus five, negative three mana cost. It's the same thing. It's all the same. Traveling stabs are all the same. I'll go and get a traveling staff. I feel like I want one. We'll take out the scepter, take out the shield. Is there a swap weapon? Probably not, huh? I guess I haven't been introduced to a swap weapon. I imagine it would be up here. Maybe you can, I just haven't found it. In case I start getting smacked a lot, we'll just keep those in the corner. Um, I don't really think I want to spend money on anything else. Well, alright, why not a circle it? What's this? I mean, everything's pretty cheap, and I got gold pretty quick, so we'll just go with this for plus damage. And what else was there? The crop, uh, cr cr crapper circle, copper circlet. All right. So I'm already decked out. It's pretty uh, low end crap. Some gloves, some boots, runic scroll, crafting materials. I'm sure I'll we'll be inter uh, introduced to that s at some point. There's another. Stash? I have two stashes? Why do I have two stashes? Uh, 
Okay. Mm. Who are you? I'll speak with her now. Get my way. Speak of who I want when I want. Grail was just telling me of your back. One of two. There should be more of us here. Yes. Baldus <laughs> and I remember. Helpful. And he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. We're here for an alliance, not favors. For an alliance, other steps must be taken. Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. Even now, the Osprics swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north, where Balthus is. Who's Balthus? Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Let's see, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what a drake is. Do this, and I'll oh, I don't care what dumb reason his guards can't help him. To heal Boria's army. Fortress gardens. So, the enter the fortress gardens. That's my current objective. What do you, you got, text? Like this is where we part ways. Good luck out there. Yes, um, something you need. No, never mind. You now use your portal to return to the last place you visited. Last town you visited. Is this my portal? What's my portal? Oh, I don't have a health potion anymore. I only hold two? What the hell is this? Passive system information. Gaining passive point nodes. That's self-explanatory. Mastery class. Initially only place points into your base tree. You will have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Once you choose a mastery class, you will gain access to the left section of the mastery menu of each mastery. And the right set the right section of your chosen mastery. You may only select one mastery per character. Okay. Spellblade. Okay, so I just one of these three, I guess, to start with, huh? Scholar, health and mana, elementalist, side damage, and arcanist, which is resistances. Hmm. Well, since elementalist branches me out to these two, we'll just go ahead and jump a point to that. All right. Okay. Exit. Continue on. Oh, you guys. Oh, damn it. Health coach. Alright, what do I keep clicking here? Because I keep using the second row of my keyboard. Game guides. F is the forge. That is your crafting area, I'm assuming. D does nothing. S is skills. Oh, H. H is social. J is nothing, K is nothing, L is ladder. Z is nothing, X is nothing. Oh, it's loot filter. What was that, X? L? What was loot filter? Okay, X, I guess. C is character. There we go, character. Hundred percent critical strike multiplier. Huh. I guess that's just automatic with the sorcerer, the mage. What does intelligence do? Each point of intelligence grants four ward retention and improves skills that rely on carefully magic says magic. Alright, so that's character. What is V? V is nothing, B is nothing. N is nothing, M is map. Okay. Get to some other stuff later. Damn it. <laughs> oh. I cannot do that. Yeah, I don't know why I would want to use any other skill.
So I don't think I'm going to uh, attack at all. So we'll just have this be fireball. Um, lightning blast. That was a wasted skill point. So that's going to be here. That's going to be here. How do you remove? Okay, remove. And I, I guess I'll just keep lightning blast on. Okay, so left click is only walk. Left click. Alright. I guess. So, I don't understand this though. Why do I need to... I can't put attack? Can I only do move? Hmm. Uh, can... How about middle? Is there... Can you middle? Middle click? I don't think so, huh? Nope. Middle mouse does nothing. I wonder if you can change those in the options. That would be wonderful. I cannot see that. Alright, cool down. Something I'm noticing that I would like to try to find an option to get rid of is the enemy highlight. I do not like that. I don't need a highlight to let me know that I have my mouse over the enemy that I want to kill. I know some people do. I don't, I don't want that. I would like to try to find an option how to get rid of that. I know some games you can't. Shit, shit. I cannot keep forgetting what my damn skills are. There we go, that's a little better. Drops gold. Nice. I'll take that. I guess that lights him on fire too. I think that quill quill creature died. Does light him on fire? Maybe not. Okay, lights some on fire. Oh. I don't like the look of that. I cannot do that. Commander Sash. What is this? Minion damage and physical damage. I don't have either. A care for either. But I get an extra potion slot. Oh, okay. Potion slots. That's interesting. So we'll just get rid of that. Oh, it does light them on fire. Okay, cool. And then you can see that they're on fire with the little uh, icon underneath their health. Doesn't always light them on fire, the chance to light them on fire, I suppose. You don't even know what you're talking about, buddy. Get away from me. No runaway. More health. Good perk to have. Scholar's Helm. What does this do? Intelligence and vitality. As opposed to... Arm. Okay. Goodbye.
All right, so I can carry three health potions now. So more than two. Y'all can't mess with me. Uh, maybe you can if I miss you. Boots of health. It's obviously better than my boots of nothing. something where the hell's it coming from the life regen in this is crazy maybe that's just the mage but I regenerate health like a mofo I cannot do that now you can uh oh that's not what I wanted to do that's not what I wanted to do Damn it. No! Holy shit. Oh my god, I almost died. Oh, that's a champion. Oh, they regenerate health. What the hell's R? I don't know what that is. What, what? I just got a skill? What is that? Level 6. What is that? Is that like a makeshift attack or something? Looks pretty shit. Dash of evasion. I like that it appears at the bottom, so you can see what it is without having to pick it up. That is a very good, uh, what you call that? Innovation. Okay, Tarjas have elemental resistances by default. Potion slots, throw damage. Dodge rating. Probably don't need throw damage or dodge rating. I guess I'll just, I'll keep it because it's blue, right? I imagine that's can, uh, for crafting materials. I don't, I don't have anything highlighted. What? Go away. What the hell? What the? What the hell? I guess it got stuck on that. I don't know. That was... That was weird. That was very weird. Ooh, there's some... Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, are you guys supposed to be a threat? Kinda gotta be on your shit a bit, and can't just let them run up on you. Physical resistance. Do I have an uh, amulet? I do not. So we will just throw that on for health and resistance. Cool. 
Let's go into the upper left, it looks like. Oh, it's whatever the hell this is. More of these things. Rejuvenating Scroonigrol. <laughs> Scroonig. <laughs> Rejuvenating... Oh, for fuck's sake. Rejuvenating Runic Scroll. I think I have... I think the one I have is not as good. Yeah, not near as good. 12% mana regeneration and lightning damage. Cool. Goodbye. Uh, physical resistance and cold damage. I don't need it, but maybe I'll sell it. And or... Uh... Okay, what the hell. Maybe that's just what alt does. Maybe I'm holding alt before I get out of my inventory. Interesting bit of miscode there. I was just I was standing right in front of him. I was standing too much in front of him so that my firebolt was showing around him. Yeah, don't really care for the lightning. Rumbling code evasion, it's blue, I'll take it. Not that that'll actually do anything or not, but we'll find out. Yeah, fireball seems to be where it's at at the moment. I suppose since I leveled, I'd maybe see if I have any extra passive skill. Yeah, see, I keep, keep hitting alt to see what's on the ground, and it's bringing up I guess the last one that I used? The last one I checked? Am I supposed to come in here? Fight past... Osprix invaders, I suppose so. Oh yeah, let's jump into... Oh, okay. So, T. T is town. I don't think... Did that ever come up somewhere? Okay, there's factions. That's why. Um, I don't know what factions are. I'll get into that later, I suppose. U is nothing. I, okay, inventory. O is settings. P is passives. I have th three unspent points. How did, how did that happen? Uh, so, we'll do another just elemental to keep damage going. And we'll do some health. And mana. Keep myself alive. So exit that, and skills. Two. That means I have two points to work into this, or I have two points available for this. I don't quite understand. So I guess maybe the highlighted ones are ones I can go to? Some I still don't get. I mean, I only have unspent points. But I don't want to spend points into lightning. I don't. I don't like the lightning. I want to spend points into something else. Why can't I spend points into something else? Why do I have to spend points? I want to spend points into fireball. Why can't I spend points into fireball? Why do I have to spend points in lightning? Is there something I'm missing? Lightning Blast level 3. You do not have specialized... You have not specialized, so you cannot put a point in its tree. So did I accidentally lock myself into a specialized lightning? I don't want to do that. Remove... Despecial... Despecialize and remove all skill points and experience from this skill and allow you to specialize in another skill in this place. Yes. I did not want to specialize in lightning. I wanted to specialize in fire. Oh, special. So I guess I'm still confused. Now, as I had three points up before, does that mean that it just, like, starts over all the level? I guess I'm still confused. 
You can only specialize into one skill. Okay. What's this? Ignite enemies. Pierces enemies. Damage and faster. That's probably going to be where I go put a first couple points. My cast speed's fine. Alright, so I'm level one into fireball. So that means I can't... So no matter how much I use this, that means I can't put points into it? Or maybe these are your specialists. So in a level... Okay, so level eight, I unlock another specialization. I'm assuming that's what that is. And then every time... Damn, so that means every time you want to specialize in a different skill, you have to restart the entire skill from scratch? Damn, and your points into here don't stay? Your points into the one you picked before don't stay? Alright, well, uh... We'll see how that goes. And I don't need to use... I keep forgetting I don't need to use alt to look at items on the ground. Alright. So I'm definitely noticing a bit of speed and damage increase. Which is cool. Yo, archers! They were aggressive with those archers. Being super aggressive with the arching. Alright, so we're gonna swap out lightning with whatever this attack is, because I guess that might be helpful. And then just because it's there. Freeze! Nope, don't need to explore anything over here. Can't destroy that. Oh, there you go. Okay, oops. I didn't know you could do that. How about that? Nope, how about that? Nope, same thing. Anything in here? Nope. Destroy. Armor stand? Nope. Oh, that's a boss. And I still froze his ass. He's tough. Ow, ow, ow. Holy shit. Don't get hit by that. Damn. Grab that health potion. Ooh. Damn, so Fireball is actually doing more direct damage than my Elemental Nova. Ooh, some, was it Rare Hide Gloves? Doesn't say what kind of rarity it is, it just says a different color. So I don't know what kind of rarity it is, it doesn't say. And I guess there's no identifying either, huh? You just... They just come unidentified, or they just come identified. Minion damage, cast speed, and stun chance, which is... Yeah, still better. The cast speed is what I'm looking for, and then the armor, of course. Okay, so you have infinite town portals too, I guess. Oh, there's town portal. Waypoints. Okay, waypoint unlocked. Uh, so these are the waypoints with the outlines and the little symbol in the middle, and these are just points of interest, I guess. Okay. Automatically pick stuff up. That's helpful. 
At least potions and gold. Don't know how much gold I'm gonna need, but no such thing as too much gold. I don't know what these guys are trying to do right here, but I'm not going to let him. Oh, let him kind of do it. Another traveling staff. This is, in comparison, the same melee, little better spell damage. And plus 20, of course, 27% lightning damage. Swap that out. Uh oh, chat's going crazy. All right, so skills are blocked by walls. Yep. I suppose that's pretty good realism, though. Be kind of ridiculous if they just went through everything. Whoa. Who are you, sir? Too many. Head to camp if you're hurt, you dumbass. But you can't fight. Okay. Find the storerooms. There better be something good in there. I'll be finding the storerooms for no reason. Down yonder. Oh, hello. Came out of nowhere. That sword does pretty good damage. Mana, mana strike. Make sure, and oh, it does uh, sweeping damage. That's helpful. Whoops. Okay. So that might get a bit aggravating. This is awkward. Still can't get past that health recovery. Alright, here's the storerooms. Let's see what's in here. Better be like some crazy Gandalf staff in here. I always try to go back out the way I came. I mean, should I really be blowing up everyone's stockpile of food? Oh, hello. I did that way too. That was terrible. Terrible move. Ter oh, I leveled. Thank God. I might have been in some trouble. Oh, that fire damage is no joke. Their fire damage is no joke. I think I need to do a little, uh... Resistance. Alright, let's, uh... Skills. Right, because I love it. It's Flame Ward. Grants a burst of five, 400... Yeah. Grants a burst of 400 ward. Then for 3 seconds... Hits deal 30% less damage to you and causes a retaliation... Okay. Yeah, we're gonna want that. So we'll swap that out for Chain Lightning. What's my fire do? 101, that does... 76. So we'll do Fire Ward. See what that does. That Mana Strike's pretty sick. <laughs> Actually, that does a pretty decent amount of damage. Oh, Fire is a shard. That's interesting. It's a random-ass place to find a shard, I think. I don't know what a shard is. Augment an item to grant it a new property. Okay, that's cool. And... Pyromancer Glass. What is that? 
Does this go in place of the scroll? No, oh, that's a sh... Oh, I can't... Probably can't use it while I'm wearing it. Can I? Nope. That means I probably can't use a glass catalyst. Damn. That's... kind of shit. Plus three intelligence and increased fire damage. Um, alright, well, that's unfortunate, but uh, the fire damage is what I'm working with, so we're gonna... get rid of the conduit staff. Alright, because I don't- I'm not using melee damage. Plus four spell damage is gonna... negate the f percent fire damage. All right. Keeper restless. Oh, armor regen. As opposed to... No regen. Uh, increased elemental damage. Yeah, I don't really need armor regen, or uh, mana regen. So I think the increased elemental damage is going to help me out more. Sweet. One, one hit kills for these guys now. Gotta remember to just use that when they're all a little bit closer. That's some big ass barrels. What? Oh, those must be kegs. Those are huge. Those are ginormous. Why are they so big? Oh, they disappear. I need this to do some more damage. More gold! Oh! One at a time! All at a time! Nope, got my health potions. Archive... Archive wand. Nope. Probably don't even need to look at normals, do I? Probably don't even need to look at them. Oh, can you break? Oh. Interesting. Oh, can you? Uh, okay, so I guess you do it with that, too. What is that little blue area in the upper corner? I thought I saw a little blue icon up there. No, I guess that's just unex one little corner of unexplored map. Oh, there's a boss, man. All right, let's not get screwed up with. Oh yeah, I got my fire ward. Shit. Oh, nice. Take out the engineers first, and then... Whoa! Fire ward back on. Nice! He just ran into the ward and got destroyed. He just, like, just evaporated. Like, instantaneously. Health regen shard. Okay, so I guess you you incorporate shards into your items, huh? And a pyro. Oh yes, increased fire damage. Thank you. Definitely take that. Yeah, we'll definitely take that. Transfer materials. Let's transfer. What? Oh, it puts the shards into... Oh, okay, so... Why wouldn't it just do that by default? I guess for... I guess for trading, right? In case you want to trade your... your items. What the hell is this? What... what... what would you... I have no idea what that even was.
Interesting. Hello, Ryu. Hey, you could have warned me what they built. Are you, are you drunk? Thirty experience and a passive point. Uh, P for passive. Two unspent points. I'm so bad at remembering my points. Uh, so you can't do these yet, right? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, what does this do? Sorcerer, Rune Master, or Spellblade. No, oh, okay. Can't put points into there yet. You have to get all the way to the end. Huh. Okay, so we're going to do some resistance, I think, because... I keep getting hit with elemental shit. Unlocked Glacier creates three successful larger ice explosions in the target direction. Each explosion deals more damage than the last. That's cool. Is that just automatically unlocked? Is that like a super skill or something? And then we just unlock some new areas here. What is this? Preparation. Every three seconds, your next elemental spill... Skill. Spell. Deals increased damage and has a chance to slow enemies. It's not bad. Reactive ward. When you drop below 70% health, you gain a burst of ward based on your max health. So... I like damage. And then for actual skills, we have... A mastery point I can use. Or, no, a specialized point. I say... Stays way too long on... What you're doing. Um, we got more damage. Keep going damage. What is this? Fire spray. Ah! Plus five mana, but fires... Three projectiles now? Or it turns in... Alright, I like, I like that. Let's go ahead and just fire up. No, I can't. Fires three points. Damn. You have to hoard three points to get fire spray? Um... Hmm. Or requires three points invested into... Huh, that, that, that doesn't, I guess, specify. Um, all right, we'll just keep upping the damage, I suppose. No, I, I, want, I want piercing. 33% more, whatever. I have no... I'm not running out of mana at all. Hmm, okay. And character... So you just automatically gain points into intelligence and... No, this has to be from my skills, right? Or my inventory. Don't I have... Plus the vitality? Thought I did. No, I got... Hmm. Okay, so I guess you just automatically get points here, right? Hmm. Getting shot up. I gotta remember to use that fire ward. We'll get hit from behind. Didn't know you lived. Is this offline? Yes. So why can't I talk to people? <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> right, there's a pierced. Okay, but how are we chatting? <laughs> Steam. 
<laughs> uh, I mean, good point. Um, armor, movement speed. Control, compare. Okay. So that gives me health. I think I want health. Um, I don't know if dodge rating does anything. Pick that up. Bastard sword. I don't use swords. We'll check out the boots, though. So it gives me this ring, which was dodge rating and damage over time. So I'll be giving up a little bit to health, but I get dodge rating and I get... Oh, same thing. I'll keep the health. Keep the extra health. If there's anything I'm losing right now, it is health. That fire damage ain't no joke, but a brass scepter. Is that better than what I have? No. No. It is the same thing. Finally at the Keeper Vault. Who are you? No, I'm asking you who you are. It's not who the hell Belfast is. Quest completed, a passive point, gold, and experience. We'll go ahead and apply the passive point here. That's gonna be yeah. So it's gonna keep putting upgrade to that. Or I can just keep doing regular damage, which I'll probably do, or health and man. Ah, so many everything's gonna be a bit helpful, I think, right? Probably Arcanist. In a burst of First of Ward. You know, just in case I get screwed, that's that's one of those things that might just come in handy. More handy than I think. Or it will, will come in come very handy, but not very often. When it God damn it. God damn it. When it does come in handy, it'll be incredibly handy. So wait, does that mean I can pick a second specialization now since I'm level... What level am I? Shit. Level 7, not level 8 yet. Getting there. Shard, an amulet, which is health, which I don't need. And bloods, I don't need. Moving on! What is this? Okay, that's the preparation. Holy shizzy! Damn. Oh my shit. Holy damn. I didn't even realize my health was dropping like that. I guess I should have. I mean, I was getting blasted. Whoops. Explode. 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 Go. Oh. Let's see. Get out of that. That's about to be bad. Might be a bad time. Take out these guys. Take out the archers. Blast this guy from afar. Freeze! Yo, that mana sword is awesome. Holy shit. Is that doing more than my fireball? No. <laughs> Fireball's doing a lot more. Vitality shard, an armor shard, lots of shards. Uh, another traveling staff with increased lightning damage. That's not going to be helpful. And a staff of sleet. 
Oh, fire damage. Nice. Oh, but is that some, that's not more fire damage than my... It's 20% 20, 20 fire damage. Chance to chill on hit. Okay, that's pretty cool. And so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just... Is not suitable. What? This is not what? Suitable. Leave. Okay, that's strange. This way. Who are you? Oh, it's Balthas. What is what is this what is this flower costume? What what are you wearing? What the hell is this? What? That's a who, do, who designed you? Who designed you? The drink. Tread carefully. So that, that's pretty. Ah! What is all that? Some bullshit Ophix warriors. Osprix. Os. Os. Osprix. Everything's got a damn cooldown. Put my flame ward on. I got this Phoenix. Damn. Flame ward came in pretty handy. Ooh, some health potions for this guy starts getting on me too bad. Ooh. Ah! Get my ward back up. Freeze! I gotta say, that's mana mana slash is pretty sweet. Oh damn! It isn't safe. Did he just happen to hit me when he died, or was that like an explosion of his death? Yeah, a glyph of chaos modifies the outcome of a craft. Okay, we'll get into that later. What? Okay, I picked everything else up by default. <laughs> Stun chance. Um, we'll take it. Sell it. I don't care about a poignard. Care about all that. Alright, what do you have to say? First things first. Thank you. The Ospricks grow more troublesome by the day. We've reinforced our walls, supplied our men, and taken out dozens of them. Yet, they're still here. Using brute force now. The howling monster circling the vault. Yes. So, I see you lack keeper's ropes. I take it Lena sent you. Lovely. While your help has yes. been appreciated, she helps you sent to me. I have everything under control. Doesn't look like it. What do you mean? I'm protecting the epoch, of course. Here. Yeah. It's a fortress. Meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the shards of the epoch. Or at least it's supposed to. Drastic times. Did Lena not tell you? No, of course not. You what? Let's get out of here first and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Right. Nab this health potion. And make sure there's nothing fun over here. No, that's just a broken door. Alright, let's uh, head on to the next place. Uh, keepers with us. Fireball's doing some good stuff. I noticed some text over here. What is what is this? Oh, just more notes. We've held the same rituals. Instructed to keep the Epoch Shard separate. Those were Itera's work. The first Epoch Shard is held in a fortress. Ancient Itera mechanisms hold it in place, with no one but us knowing how to enter. The second vault is deep inside the Stonefall Mountains, with traps that only the Keepers know how to maneuver. Of course, only the Keepers know how. Is always on the move. 
It uses multiple vaults. Only we possess the knowledge to open them. This is why we never call a single place home. What is this? Keeper's gloves. These are special gloves? Apparently I both, I suppose. Ah, unique. Unique hide gloves. Okay. Oh, these are okay, so they have you have the uniques. So this is only one of this item. This is the only one of this one. Poison resist, minion poison resist, which I don't need. Chance to summon a swarm of bees on melee hit. That's not going to be too helpful to me, as I don't melee hit or have any kind of... <clears throat> minion presence. Armor's the same. Stash it! Keep it for the next character. Uh, ooh, are the stashes universal, or are they character-specific? I hope they are universal. I guess we'll find out. Steel class... Uh but level eight specialization unlocked nice I kind of don't like how everything just auto hits on auto appears on the ground. I need to change that. And silver ring of life. Plus one to attunement. I'm not sure what that is. Plus one attunement. But it's going to be better than my silver ring, that's for sure. So we'll just swap that out. And drop. Tome of sparks. What's that? That, like you learn a oh no that's a same thing as a shield and a glass catalyst it seems tomes look like they're resistances well what was this called this was a catalyst catalyst looks like it's damage I wish the uh, pierce on my fireball would happen a little more often. Well, it just happened there, but that's not very helpful. Stun avoidance. Can't avoid stuns if you're dead, can you? <laughs> I'm just gonna use my mana swing or mana strike. This thing's this thing's just murking people. So I guess that I think that was one of the uh, mastery classes. It's using uh, uh, I guess, um, elemental weapons of some kind. That's pretty sweet. I don't... I'm not sure I like... If you're too close, you just kind of... <laughs> fire, like, around them, kind of thing. I do like the offset mana. He shows, shoots with his right and his left hand. That's cool. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to need some points into, uh... I keep forgetting about my, uh, Flame Ward. I want some points into Elemental Nova as well. Uh, plus one Attunement, Fire Resist, and Health Regen. I probably need Health Regen. Yeah, I don't care about, uh, dodge rating, or I guess, damage over time, so we'll throw up, swap this out for Resistance and Health Regen. Done.
hack and slashing. Hack and slashing with a mage. Never would have thought that possible. Thought that to even be a option. Here I am. Hack and slashing with a mage. That was interesting. What's this? Preparations for a last stand that the vaults are ever breached. Oh, there's a helm. That might be helpful. So this is going to be opposed to intelligence. That's... Okay, that's already better. Intelligence and vitality still plus one, plus I get health and armor. Swap. Nice. Onward. Let me ask, for how long must we live like this? No one cared about the shards until recently. Until Ryan. For now it's just him. But how much longer until the god we uphold customs? As Itera willed. But our goddess is gone. If she knew the state of the world, would she not request us to act? To bring peace back between her children. We I don't know. Keep the old ways. The council is scared, but nothing will change if we do not change. Well, the council's holding on to the old ways, I suppose. That's nothing new. Elemental Nova. Alright, we're at the Northern Road. Speak with the Keeper Guard. Where is the Keeper Guard? There's a, another waypoint. Nice. Alright, so we are three waypoints in. Maybe we'll keep level five as a good stopping point for each character's intro. I'm sure you have questions. Who do the keepers adhere to? Our slumbering mother, Etera. Alone. A goddess they cannot see. They sent no treasure to see for Lagon, nor works of art south to Majassa. Were they in league with Herot savages? No. Their alliance seems to be a recent development. How can they claim a greater connection to its error than us? We're the servants of Raya, the inheritor of her domain. All right, so these Must notes and letters seem to be more of like lore. Burn. Oh, are we still talking? More of like, I guess, lore stuff. Uh, kind of like the journals in Diablo 3, I suppose. Kind of tell you what's going on. Good. No. Ah, oh, what the hell? Who are you? What the hell? All right. See you later, buddy. Bye. Um, are you crying? It's like you're crying. Why are you crying? Oh, the keeper guard. What do they want? Use your what? I've got this. I am the man. I'm an old man right now, but I am the man nonetheless. All right, we're gonna have to call this a. Oh, is this a chest? Oh, sweet, nice. Added block chant shard. This uh life. I don't know if that's better than what I have. It is not. And a wand. 15% damage all around. Hmm. Hmm. And then I get to also have something in my offhand. 
So let's toy around with this for a second. So I'm going to lose 5% to fire damage, but I'll gain 15% to all other damage. So it's going to include that and that and that. Right? Nope. Hang on. Uh, da, 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 doesn't have damage. So 70 and that's 50. Okay, so that does add a pretty solid amount. All right, 40. That's 130. So how much damage am I losing? I'm losing... Less? Huh. Interesting. 15% increased spell damage. Oh, plus 6 spell damage. That's only got plus 4. Okay. So it adds plus 6 to my base spell damage, and then it increases by 15 spell damage. Okay, that makes sense. So then we got a couple of these things to look at. This is Void Resistance and Chance to Slow. I don't know if that's going to be too helpful. Uh, those are my, all my offhands. That's all my offhands. Go and transfer materials. Um, so and this is... Oh, that good. So there's my increased fire damage. So that's going to add a shit ton. 130 jumps up to 157. Yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. Otherwise, it's just chance to slow and void resistance. I don't know if I've come across any void attacks yet. Uh, so we'll we'll keep it at that. And then what's this? Currently have minion cast speed. Okay, I don't care about anything else there. All right. So what's this? Oh, oh, so that appears that that icon appears down there in the bottom right corner when you have a new. Specialized point, I suppose. Alright, so what do we got already? We got piercing bullets, we've got attack, speed, and damage. Higher chance to ignite enemies. I don't really care about enemy igniting because I'm just I'm taking them out so quick. So I'm still curious. Do I need to hoard three points in order to get fire spray? I'm gonna try that. I'm going to try hoarding three points to get fire spray. And in the meantime, we are going to go for... Oh, I forgot about Glacier, son of a bitch. That's so much mana, though. I mean, that's... I, I can use it once. Once. Can't lie, I'm a little disappointed with the um, five-slot limitation. I'm a little disappointed with that. I was hoping for, like, a full board... Uh, I mean, at least, like, like, you know, 12 skills or something, whatever you wanted to do. That's a little disappointing, I can't lie. Because I would love to have Glacier on, like, you know, a lower end, like a higher uh, button down, more down the line for when I do come across, but otherwise you kind of have to swap out skills per engagement. Which, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's kind of the point. But I feel like that kind of defeats... I don't know. Alright, so I'm definitely using Elemental Nova a lot, so let's put a specialized point into this. So that increases damage, that increases ice, enables Ice Nova, which has a freeze rate of 40. We'll do Ice Nova. Or just more percent Ooh, area of effect. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll increase the area of effect a couple points first. And then we're going to hoard some points into Fireball to see if I can get a three shot. I think that's what that is. Because it's not level three. Because that, that's not going anywhere, and I'm at level three, so... It's probably three points. And Glacier's just too much mana. And then my skills... Nope, that was already what I did. Passes. Alright, so we're going to keep uh, probably health and just don't really need mana that much. We'll keep the damage going for everything. Uh, I'm not really sure what that... You don't get to see what the next one does, huh? Maybe that is the next one. 
No, it's ward gain per health. I don't know what that means. I don't know what wards are. Alright, more overall damage. Okay. This was a pretty good intro overall to the game. And a pretty good intro for the mage. Am I at hour and a half in? Three waypoints? Alright, that's a pretty good stopping point to get a uh, good idea of what everything is. What is my current? Return to Keeper's Camp and speak. Keeper's Camp. Travel. Alright, what do you gotta say? Grail took off somewhere, said he found something down in the mountain that will aid Herod. Who are these people? What do you find? Everything okay? Where's Balthus? He was kidnapped. What happened? That must be Orion. It Orion's Drake. Balthus. He's in danger. An Osprey's general. He's the one leading the hunt for us. And look at her face. Make sure. What happened? I feel like artifacts Balthus was protecting. It was gone. What they were after. Obviously. Have to save Balthus. Get him and the epoch back. Is that what he had? Was an epoch? He's not far. I have to organize a group. Go after him. Are you sure? I could gather soldiers. Have them come with you. You're no, no, no. It'll take forever to do, for you to do anything. Stay safe. Stay alive. And bring Balthus back. I feel like her model face is not quite matching. Her portrait face. Alright. I feel like her I feel like her eyes are a little little bigger. Right, right, her nose is a little bigger. So it's not not a not a direct correlation. And it's kind of like they took, like, this lovely face here and just, like, soup canned it out. <laughs> Stretched him out. Okay. Alright, anyway. Alright, what did I just gain? I gained a skill point, I think, right? No. It was a passive point. Yes. Um, so... We got another... Let's added one to damage. We'll do another to damage. I just... I want to I wanna merc everybody. All right, good intro. Uh, we'll be back in the mage uh, soon. Real quick before I quit out, I just, uh, I didn't see damage numbers. We'll get rid of damage numbers, but I didn't see anywhere where it was. Get rid of enemy highlighting. Enemies brief very briefly turn white to provide feedback that they are being hit. I don't think I need that. If I, if I start noticing something not... If I start noticing I'm not knowing what the hell is going on, I'll turn that back on. I don't need loot filters. Item ground label affix indicators. Add dots to item labels on the ground. Reflecting affix slots. Okay, that's what the that's asterisks next to the items are, I think. I don't think I need that. I think I just need to hover over the item and that will be plenty to understand what the item's about. Auto compare, I don't want that. Floating player name, don't want that. Wired typing name and deleting characters. I guess that's a fine failsafe. Okay, sound, that's probably all fine. 
social i won't be doing much of that <laughs> profanity filter ah, it's better to have it than not have it i guess disable the trolls uh we'll disable chat for this time for the sake of introductions hide unknown social requests don't care about that challenges solo account found disabled character found disabled Challenges are chosen when you create a character. I don't... Is that online only? Your gold stash and crafting materials are shared with other characters. Uh, so I guess that's like solo self-found or something? I don't know. Okay. Uh, central... I guess I should probably do east because that's where I am. And accept, um, I just exit. All right. Okay, cool. Intro to the mage. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks for watching these first impressions and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this run through, consider hitting that like button. And remember to subscribe for more Last Epoch and other ARPG gameplay analytics. See you on the next one. Adios.